Hello YouTube, Hyboman here with a video that I hope will help you guys to get to know me better as a reviewer and a Transformers collector. I came up with 10 aspects of my experience as a collector that I have turned into questions that I think can both help me show how I approach the toys and collecting them, as well as help me understand how you guys approach it. These 10 questions will be written in the video description. And that's basically it. Without further explanation, let's begin getting to know a Transformers collector. Question number one. What is the first Transformers toy you ever owned? My first Transformer was a Beast Wars Transmetal Rampage. Number two. What is the first Transformer you collected? In other words, when did you go from being a fan who had a lot of the toys to being an official collector? For me, this started around the Unicron Trilogy. In Armada, I was picking up a lot of those three packs of the Minicons, and then it really started kicking off around Energon, and especially Cybertron. Because Cybertron, I got a lot of the bigger toys. I basically went pretty, pretty completist on that line. Not super hardcore completist, but to the point where, you know, I got most of the characters from the show. I was after the big ones, the little ones, etc., as well as that was the time when I started expanding into other series like Beast Wars. So that's where collecting started for me. Number three. What Transformers do you have the fondest memories of from childhood? Now, I started collecting when, you know, officially collecting or calling it that anyway, when I was about ten, give or take a few years. So most of my childhood still involves me collecting, but I'm referring to my childhood as pre-collecting. And the earliest memories I have of playing with Transformers figures go back to this guy. This is Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Optimus Minor. Um, I was always carrying him around with me. He was a really fun guy. And I, I always felt like he was, you know, the, the, special, the special toy. There was nothing that I saw on the shelves at the time that I had him like him. And, you know, I didn't really realize that he was a part of the team or that he had other ones like him. He was just, like, the one... The one cool little monkey guy that I had. Number four. What Transformer or Transformers did you love as a kid and still love even though other people might not like them now? I'm going to give the, the spot to Optimus Minor as well. Unfortunately for my love for this toy and my nostalgic appreciation of him, um, he tends to be a fan unfavorite, I guess I can say. A lot of other reviewers that I've seen just don't like this toy for reasons that are completely understandable, but, you know, he was he was a special one for me as a kid, so I still like him. Number five, what Transformer did you miss or pass up as a kid and still don't have? Now, that for me was the Voyager Class Starscream from the Cybertron or Galaxy Force line. The only way to get it in the U.S. was a two-packs um, Toys R Us exclusive release with a paint job that looked nothing like the Starscream from the show. Ergo, I didn't get it when I was like 10 or 11, because it didn't look like the Starscream I wanted. And I still want the mold now. Sorry if I seem like I'm rushing, by the way. Um, I've tried filming this video a couple times, and I always run out of time towards the end, where I start really, really rambling and getting into detail on things. So I want to get the early stuff out of the way. Number six, what Transformers toy line... Judging by the toys only, not the comics, not the cartoons, is your favorite. Now, I'm specifically ruling out any kind of media other than the toys, because for me, Beast Wars, or the Beast era, I should say, from Beast Wars, Japanese Beast Wars, into Beast Machines, is my favorite. Because the toys are great, the characters are great, the story is great. But if I'm looking back into when I started collecting this kind of stuff that was around when I started getting into... Transformers and just basing it off the toys, I'd actually have to say that I have a much stronger connection with um, Energon. Armada was a little bit weird for me because, like I said, I was collecting the Minicons at that time, so I don't really have a connection with that many of the Armada figures. And Cybertron, I don't know, it just seems... Like, I look back at those toys and for whatever reason the Energon toys just seem so much better to me. So Energon is probably my favorite just as a standalone toy line, with everything else taken into consideration, though I'd have to say Beast Wars. Number seven. What aspect of a Transformer is the most important one for you? And then um, in the text that I'm going to put up, I'll elaborate a few things like posability, um, show accuracy, whatever. Everybody has their thing. The one thing that's more important to them than anything else. And for me, that happens to be transformation. I like 
the Transformers that have involved, challenging, interesting, or fun transformations. And I have a few examples of those that I want to share. First one is War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. His transformation is complicated, and it's detailed, and it's very, like, panel-centric. A lot of people don't like it because it's so involved, but it's very, very sturdy and very well designed. As long as you're not tearing chunks at him, and as long as you're doing it in some semblance of an order, you're going to get to the finished product with the thing completely undamaged. He has three ball joints on him total, his feet and his head. So those are really the only things you need to worry about popping off, again, if you're just being a little bit rough with it. He's very solid, he's a really, really sturdy toy, and that's something about a transformation I like. I also enjoy fun transformations. Now that's a little bit more specific to me and my preferences. I, for whatever reason, the movie Sideswipe toy, specifically Sidearm Sideswipe and Dark of the Moon Sideswipe, I love sitting there just flipping him back and forth. Um, so that's like a fun transformation versus an overly complicated one. And that is the most important thing for me, transformation. Number eight, what ideas have you had for Transformers that were or were not made into toys? This isn't so much like a character thing, like, oh my god, here's, you know, this Decepticon or Autobot that I came up with that I really wanted to be a character, as much as, oh, I really wished that there was a Maximal that transformed into whatever, a butterfly or something. I know the insects were reserved for the Predacons, but I digress. Um, if there was something that was, if you had an idea and, hey, it was based off of something and then they did it, or if you had an idea that was never fully fleshed out, please just answer this question, I guess, in terms of something you wished would happen and tell me whether or not it did happen. If that makes sense. Number nine, what Transformer have you invented your own character for based solely on the aesthetics of the toy, regardless of what the toy's actual bio was? Um, I'm just going to show you an example that I have for this. Animated Oil Slick. His toy came out at the beginning of the animated line, before there was any indication he was going to be in the show, and he came in way at the end of Season 3 in Team Char. His character bio was, he does some science-y stuff, he may have trained with Prowl, and he's good at vehicle combat. And I basically turned him into, he's a warrior who roams the universe looking for a challenge and people to beat up, so he can prove that he's the best. And, you know, that, that was my way of rationalizing his alt mode, because it is a four-wheeled Cybertronian version of a chopper motorcycle with an awesome but totally conspicuous ram head on the front. So that's my my way of characterizing him. I have a few others, but I can't elaborate them on, on them right now. I may when I review the figures in the future. Um, doo -doo -doo. And number 10. If you could have the body of any Transformer, i.e. your mind in the body of a Transformer, either on a to based off a toy or off of their body from a cartoon or a comic, who would it be and why? Now, my favorite thing, or my most important part of a Transformer, is transformation. Therefore, the Transformer I would choose every time in this situation has to be good old Gigatron. He has ten modes. Maybe they're not all 100% amazing, or they don't all work, but he has ten of them. He has beast modes, he has vehicle modes, he has his robot mode, he has flying modes, land modes, he has a boat, sort of. And... You know, you're going to be able to do everything that you'd ever need to in this, plus each mode has its own abilities. So if I had to choose one, I would choose him as a body to have. Um, let's see. Like I said, I'm going to put the, um, the questions up in the description. Um, if you watch this video and you're not someone I, I like, tag, please feel free to answer the questions in a video response in the comment section or to send me a personal message. I'm going to try to figure out how to tag people to get them to answer these, but thank you for bearing with me in my first attempt to do something like this. So this has been Getting to Know a Transformers Collector. I am Highball Man, and I am signing off.